Joshua Bardwell here. I just posted my video, my top three Betaflight flight controllers. People are always asking me, which one should I buy? And I couldn't possibly narrow it down to just one because there is no one best. But I tried to narrow it down as much as I could and I came up with the three that I thought were the best. And of course, the comments filled up with people saying, what about this one? What about that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're all great. There are so many good ones. There are almost no bad ones. It just depends on which one you want. And I picked the, the three that I thought were at the top of my list. But there was one that you guys said, what about this one? And I had to admit, you're, you might be right. And it is the Luminaire Lux V2, in case you didn't guess from the uh, the picture here. I would say for me that the Luminaire Lux V2 would be number four on the list. And I, I had to narrow it down and I chose to narrow it to three. So it didn't quite make the cut. And the reason it didn't make the cut, well, you know, I'd like to tell you that it was something like, oh, the, uh, the regulator on the SSD is bigger than the regulator on the Lux V2. The Lux V2 has a one amp, five volt regulator built in. The SSD has a, it's really massive. You can do 1.5 amps with a 6S input. And if you're only running a 4S input, that number only goes up. So you could run basically any five volt accessory you want off the SSD and even a power hungry one, like a TBS Unify five uh, video transmitter, five volt input, it's like 800 milliamps or something. But that's not the real reason, and I'm going to be completely straight with you guys. The real reason that this one was not higher on the list was that uh, it came across my desk several months ago, and I kind of just forgot it existed. Yeah, I have a short attention span, and I'm doing so many things that I oftentimes a video idea happens because I just look at the pile of things that are sitting in front of me on the bench and go, oh, that'll make a good video. It's the same reason that the... Uh, that the uh, Fat Shark uh, Spironet antenna was not in my antenna shootout. I don't have anything against Spironet. I just, I've, I personally have never ended up using a Spironet. I don't know. I just never have. And when it came time to do the shootout, I was just like, oh, yeah, okay, good. Antenna's done. So, anyway, I wanted to include this one because on paper, the Luminar Lux V2 actually has almost the exact same specs as the Rotor Geeks SSD. It even uses the larger package chip, so you get five UARTs, just like the SSD. And I think those are the only two boards I know of that do that. Um, and the Luminaire Lux V2 also has, I, I must say, a superior form factor. I personally love these edge launch pins for direct soldering. Uh, they even make a lower profile board if you're gonna use pins. But if you're direct soldering, these nice edge launch pads are so much nicer to solder to than tiny, tiny little through holes where you have to, well, anyway. So, uh, so yeah, the Luminaire Lux V2, if you don't have a big, massive 5-volt uh, accessory that you need the big 5-volt uh, supply on the SSD, the Luminaire Lux V2 uh, may offer the exact same feature set, as far as I can tell. Uh, in a slightly nicer package and form factor. So there you go, two of them, uh, three and four. Let them share the three and the four slot, the Rotor Geeks SSD and the Luminaire Lux V2. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy flying.